And we're back. Owen, walk me through your NBA storylines for coming off the weekend. Yes, sir. It has been many a year, but the New York Knickerbockers are relevant in the National Basketball Association. The Knicks are fourth in the East with a 109-90 to win over the Detroit Pistons last night. Obviously, Detroit, uh, second worst record in the league, worst team in the Eastern Conference. Not super impressive. But just I think this season cumulatively for the Knicks has been very fun. Uh, I don't see them as a team that's going to make a ton of noise in the playoffs. But for Knicks fans, they've been waiting, searching for anything. And they are getting results from a mishmash of guys who are on their second team, on their third team. And then they got some young guys in there. Emmanuel quickly has been a revelation, certainly a steal uh, as a 25th pick in the draft. And Derek Rose pickup was solid for them. Randall, of course, being named a, an all-star for the first time. And so uh, it's very rare that a team of this with a market size as big as the Knicks and New York actually seems to be being rooted for by the majority of, of sports fans be just because of the pain and torture that the Knicks have endured. Uh, feels similar to a Cleveland Browns or a Buffalo Bills, just a team that that people want to back after they've experienced so much heartbreak. Uh, and so, but you don't really see that with New York because Yankees fans are insufferable and Lakers fans are insufferable and just the success that they have experienced and the money and power that they have. Um, but yeah, it is nice to see that the Knicks are relevant, uh, especially in a time where the league is struggling so when things open back up, they're going to get so much revenue from this Knicks team. That is great for the health of the league. Um, so you got to look at it from that perspective if you're if you're still not a Knicks fan uh, or if you're just not ever going to be supportive of a New York franchise, you at least just have to look at it from a, a bird's eye view and what it means for the success of the sport as a whole because New York just drives so much economic value for any sport. Um, and it's nice to see them doing well. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see early in the season, the Raptors had a game against them and showed them some different looks. Uh, and there was a bit of a veteran presence that took over. I, I'm, I'm interested to see if the Knicks make the playoffs, how they will adapt to just the different pace. And even though their defense is solid, it just is very different when teams start exposing the one weakness in your lineup or the one player and put them in pick and roll over and over again. Uh, but yeah, hopefully the Knicks make the playoffs because it's fun. Whenever the Knicks teams are relevant, the the Garden, the Mecca, it, it's buzzing. And so, yeah, shout out to the Knicks. <laughs> It's funny, I don't see uh, the Leafs getting any of that love you're describing with uh, the Bills, the Knicks, and the Browns. Uh, I wanted to ask you, though, do you see any similarities between the 2014 Raptors and this Knicks team? Yeah, uh, I guess. The difference is with the Knicks is they've kind of accumulated just guys through free agency and it didn't make a lot of sense. And then they finally had new leadership. I guess you can see it in that regard is the new leadership has come in similar to a Maasai and really like adjusted and clarified the direction of the team. They actually, it seems like they have a plan now, which is huge for the Raptors and now is huge for the Knicks. I think the difference is the Raptors had less of the young talent. Uh, it was kind of DeRozan and, and Lowry was already into his prime. Um, and then you've got Valanciunas as well. Those were kind of the, the pieces at the time. With the Knicks, they've got RJ, they've got Obi Toppin, they've got Quickly, they've got Mitchell Robinson. They've got just a little bit more higher-end young talent. Um, so I guess there's a difference there. But it, I think it really, like, the, the biggest similarity you could see between those two teams is just the culture change, right? Is this new leadership comes in, it sets a plan, it actually knows what it's doing. It seems like Dolan has taken a step back, which is always good, uh, for the success of the team. And the, and then the other thing you would look at is just that the culture of working harder than the other team. And uh, that Raps team had a lot of grit the very first time they made it to the playoffs. And, and honestly, they really had a great shot of beating the Brooklyn Nets in the first round. Um, and so, yeah, in, and hopefully the Knicks follow a similar trajectory because it's, 
just make the Eastern Conference more exciting and more interesting if, if they could pull off a, a sustained playoff presence. Certainly the season for it. Yes.